The boat's in the water, and the boys are headed down the iconic Shim Creek and Mount Pleasant. Shim Creek is known for its history in the shrimping industry. Full of shrimp boats to this day, it's the local spot for the freshest seafood in town. Growing up, I mean, this is like our home base. You know, I grew up, my parents' house is probably a block that way. We've always just, we've always come out of Shim Creek. My grandparents had a shrimp boat in Shim Creek. We, you know, commercial fished out of Shim Creek. It's just been such a great access point to get to all the fishing grounds that you need it to is, get it's, to. It is, it's grown a lot. Back in the day, this whole creek was wall-to-wall -wall shrimp boats. I mean, from the bridge all the way out, it was, you know, three deep shrimp boats. And it's kind of, the demographics kind of change a little bit. These down. guys kind of get hit with hard times, but I mean, there's still a few of them pushing along out here. Hopefully they don't go away and they kind of, you know, keep that lifestyle going. You know, kind of what makes Charleston great is the amount of shrimp that we have in here. Crab, uh, you know, mud minnows, mullet, things like that. The bait fish that the bigger game fish go after. So Yeah, it's definitely a, a great estuary. That's what makes Charleston great. It's just all the amount of bonus of bait that we have in here that stays in here. It's low country living, man. It's like right now we're going to try to target just structure, just to try to find some of those schools because they'll just sit on one dock and it'll be, you know, 50, 100 fish. It might be 30 fish, but you should never know. You can kind of you bounce know around. they're there by the first couple yeah, of casts. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so.